after all this racism and things that take place in America, if them feel that in five years one black man will come and reverse all of that negativity. And we must get in that frame of mood because what will happen is that if Obama do something good and he never do the other things, what he never do is that he's going to get judged out. You know, so we, 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 even though we expect and a lot of people expect great things, but we have to know say it's a system around the man and it's not the man around the system. And that system is in place whether it's a black man or a black woman is there, a white man or a white woman is there. The system is there intact. And we don't feel say in five years we're going to say America become this utopia or this everything that a lot of people now feel. Because you have people who actually believe that in themselves now. You know? I mean, even in Jamaica, where we come from. Jamaica is one of the biggest murder rates in the world for the size of the island. But when Obama win, party like worries. I mean, people was like, it's like for them election. You know, I don't know about in Canada, yeah, so but even tonight, yeah, parties are key, Obama party. You know, and them have a of different names. You know, all the clear skinned people, them feel good you now, who get mixed, who mix up with white people, and you know, them say, see there, yes. We have things we talk about now, you know. Mixed race people, Obama have white parents and black parents. So, you know, it kind of let out something out of them, release, release something. And it is good. It is good that black people can now release certain things in them, you know. And you can look on a white person and say, yeah, we run the White House, you know. You know, it's a little baby, they might run up and down inside. You, know? you can bring a little school kid, they might run up and down inside. Because you never even know if your family was in the White House. You never hear about Bush children, them are Bush. It's just, it's just Bush you hear about continuously. You now we see a black man come where them talk about black people can't hold family together and black people this and black people that. We see Obama having wife and children, them, and him holding him family. He's, he means highly educated, intellectual. I hear some white Republicans say he's the most intelligent man ever run for president in America. And this is a black man we are talking about. So, Real and true, you didn't have intelligent black people around the place all the while. No white people go and legitimize we. They were going to feel good about themselves. Because we're going to hear that now. See there? A whole heap of white people vote for Obama. But we have to understand, say, you have 48 million people that vote for the other man too. So you have 48 million people out there where really don't think Obama is necessary or important to for them level. As a matter of fact, you have black people who vote for, your, who vote for the other man. I, it it puzzles me how a black man could have really vote for my kid. I really I can't understand it. I really don't understand it, but maybe somebody inside there who love my kid could have tell me. How a black man could have... I mean, even if you don't like Obama, but just for the idea, say, you're going to put my kid in a power, it's really bitter taste to the mouth. Considering what we see happening to the world, because what happened over the past eight years affect the whole away in the world. Jamaica, I mean, a million people Iraqi dead in Iraq, Iraq since the, the war started. Not to mention the 4,000 and odd Americans who died, plus the 30,000 who went back to America, crippled, dumb, deaf, blind, mad, and all these things. So this man, when he Bush, created so much devastation in the world that if you're a black man, Get that as in legacy, I you know if you come try to correct that. It's really a Jesus Christ task. They might give this black man yeah? and black people really look at it like say, Why is him gonna do it? Is him gonna do it? So, the reason why we are said that is because we know that this is what is happening now, you know, uh, in Jamaica. People glue to them TV. I never see so many people watch CNN in my life. People use their watch HBO and MTV and all them things, right? So people still gotta watch it, see that they want. It's like a thing I go on. Like you want to see what is happening now. What, what Obama they know? What am I gonna say no? Right? It's like everybody get crazy, it's like Obama fever, you know? You want a t-shirt, a poster, a pin, and everything, yeah? like you run place now, you say, yes, what you pin them? You put them up and clothes, them clothes are wear now. You know, it, it, it's like a thing. I'm mean, saying listen to Jay-Z, everybody wanna buy Jay-Z music now. It's the two of them, your wife and everything goes on it's everybody, yeah, they wanna lose to that girl. yeah, you know. So you kinda of feel like they're near to the White House, you know. Everybody feel near to the White House, everybody wanna run go at the inauguration now, and them have almost thousands of cameras with them going to install to make sure that someone will don't reach there. So it's really a different kind of thing that happened. 
But within the euphoria of you understand, say, life go on, life goes on. You know, the small ghetto area and the small communities, them, they still can't carry up to go to school because you don't have no money. And the education system still is a racist system. You know, I mean, I feel, say, Obama can't change that in a five years. I mean, I feel that. I mean, I feel, say, I'm going to get 10 years. I mean, I feel, say, I'm going to work like Bush. You know, Bush, somewhere along the line, Jim Screech himself inside of the power structure there, the last time. People recognize that. But it's them run the system. And we still have certain questions unanswered, like the Palestinian issue, mm -hmm. where we personally feel totally connected to. You know, I would say, I don't know if a prime minister or a president can come of America and totally say why the Israelis are my encroachment on Palestinian land. I don't feel the prime minister or president can say that in America. I mean, you left him win. You left him do that, do it for win. Because you have some people that say, yeah, the reason why I'm saying these things is because I want to get into power. But wait till the middle before I'm going to change things. That is crazy. You know? And then we have the Iraqi thing still up on the board. We have reparation where Obama said, no, it's not a reparation thing. You know? So I will put things up on the board where it needs to be addressed as issues. And I don't care why there's a black person right now. The one thing we know say this little thing though is to make people start to get interested in the news. You know, and that is really good. People, young people too, young people start to watch the news for the first time. First time you're watching news, I would say, Daddy, you can't change the channel. <laughs> they want to watch MTV. No, nobody don't want to watch MTV again. They want to, wait, Obama they on TV. Yeah, turn the chat. People are calling people now. Hey, Obama gas speech 230, you know. <laughs> you people who are here, we want to say that, that that is really something. It's like excitement, and that is really what black people need. Black people need some excitement in the, in the structure, in the, in the revolution. You know, you need to have a semblance of socio political consciousness in the pop culture, and that is where this thing I bring now. We are singers, I sing about Obama. You know, it's the first time I hear so much president things come out. I never hear so much. Pro Obama song that like no. And I never hear so much anti Bush song. I'm sure I really that sing some enough anti Bush song still. But I guess with this kind of scared. You know, you have some Jamaican people, artists, you know, when Iraq, when 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 America they just started going to Iraq, we decided to go in front of the embassy, got them on straight in a Jamaica. And we hear all these regards that sing all these great militant songs and we have tried I know all of the regards them. So we could go in, the, in front of them and say, go them and straight. They had them say, them now, but them afraid. Because they, they want to go back to America, so they're afraid to take them visa. And we are say, but you not sing about the thing all the while. So how come you're afraid for something practical and physical now, what you need to do? For sure, say, why are you feel disgusted about the invasion of Iraq? And you say, why are you afraid to take away your visa?